Hi, my name is Maz and I'm behind bars. Now, you might be wondering about what's brought me in here. Was it indecent exposure? Could it be the kidnapping of endangered animals? Or was it due to me making soup out of the endangered animals? <laughs> Well, it's none of those. This is all about what happened between me and a girl named Cherry. I killed a man. So imagine this, two people have been friends for a good long while and one begins to develop feelings for the other. But unfortunately, the feeling isn't mutual and they have no intention on wrapping up their relationship. So they say the worst, most heartbreaking thing that could be said at that moment. Hey, I just view you as a friend. No. No, please. Please, no! No! And so they get banished into a layer deeper than the Shadow Realm. The Friend Zone. <laughs> now, if I'm gonna be honest, that actually sounds pretty natural. Cause think about it, the chances that you'll like somebody and it's gonna be one-sided is super high. And that's fine. But what's not okay is when you're too pushy and expect something more from that friendship. Just because you like them, doesn't mean they have to like you, bro. No matter how nice you are. Look, I think for the most part, people do know where the boundaries lie, but I can also imagine people not knowing the boundaries. <laughs> You're so nice, Moz. <laughs> yeah, it's really no problem at all. <laughs> now give me a smooch. Wait, wh what? Well, look, I I've been really helpful to you, so I, I think I deserve a little smooch. Mm, no, but I don't really want to do that. How dare you not do what I want? And here I was being so nice to you. Woman out trash! <sighs> and that's why I'm so ashamed to admit that I used to be one of those nice guys. Am I proud of it? No. But was I young and stupid? Yes, very much so. So guys, let me tell you a story about a girl named Cherry and how I was an awful person during middle school. It all began before grade 8, during the Australian summer holidays. Around this time, there was a special program for gifted children so that they're able to check out their middle school in advance. And I knew I was gonna get into the program because mommy said that I was special. And it was in this program that I met Cherry. Now, keep in mind that I was <laughs> quite young. So as a kid going through puberty, having limited interaction to girls, and hormones just surging through me, I was like, Oh dang, she's kind of pretty. <laughs> hey, 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 wait, 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 I, I was 13 as well. I was 13 as well. It's cool, it's cool. Look, there isn't anything wrong with being attracted to people. It's just a matter of how you deal with those feelings and approach them that shows how you are as a person. And oh boy, was I a piece of sh- So back then I used to live in a small rural town out in Australia. And let's just say that there weren't that many ethnic, culture, diversity. They were all white, weren't they? Yeah, it was all white people. And that may be why I was attracted to Cherry in the first place. Because at the time, I must have thought of her as this Indian goddess or something. And since I was the only other brown guy in my year level, I thought it was destiny for us to be together. Cherry! Buzz! But we didn't really talk to each other that much until she started dating one of my grade 8 friends. And look, we were 13, that relationship didn't last long. But it did manage to introduce her to the boys. Hey Vsauce, Maz here. Now, the boys. What is it and how can I be part of it? Well, it's a custom that's in Australian schools where a bunch of guys and girls stick together and hang out during lunchtime. Now, they're all really good friends, but the one you should really focus on are J-Dog and Bilbo. They are really important for the story because I want them to die. Wait, what? Now, it was around this point after the breakup that Cherry and I really started to talk to each other. And I'm like, wow, she's actually really cool. We even shared some classes together, so we naturally just became really good friends. But I may or may not have developed feelings that were a bit more than just friendship. She even mentioned how everyone else in the group was white and how we had to stick together. Like, it was meant to be. Because you know what's better than chocolate and caramel? Chocolate with caramel. With the cherry on top. <laughs> no, wait! There was just one eensy teensy issue. She was dating somebody else from our squad. Hmm. Wait a second. It's all clear now. All of the guys that she's dated has been part of the boys. That means that she'll eventually get around to dating me. Oh, oh 
my gosh, I'm cringing. I can't, I can't believe I genuinely thought that. Ah, oh, I thought that it was like a game, like a pop it. Yeah. Oh boy. Twist it. Wow. This is lit. Date it. Wait, what? That's non-consensual. <laughs> Like, she'll give us a turn with dating her. Oh, my God. Blech. Gross. Blech. I'm so gross. <laughs> so keeping this stupid logic in mind, I slowly but surely became friends with her. And it wasn't just Cherry, because we were also getting close with our friend Bilbo, forming our little trio. We were like the three amigos, you know, always having fun, playing it cool, and totally not hoping that she would eventually pick up on my deep-seated feelings of affection, which slowly led to resentment for putting me in the friend zone or anything. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, maybe I was a little too whipped. Like, to the extent that even though Cherry, Bilbo, and I were all friends having a good old time, I was plotting things like, How do I spend as much time with her as possible? I want Cherry to only think of me. Just Maz. Just Maz. Just Maz. Wait, wait a minute. Am I a psychopath, Yandere? I mean, you did kind of stab your brother and kill a duck, so... Yeah, probably. Frick! Anyway, a few months later in grade 9, I got another bombshell. Cherry was dating Bilbo. Now, you might be thinking that I was shocked at the sudden change, or annoyed that she was smooching on some boy that wasn't me, or I don't know, that I wanted them to break up or something. <laughs> and you'd be wrong. I wanted him to drown. But the weird, twisted middle school logic of mine was like, mm, yeah, it's alright, because, you know, it's just within the boys, so my turn's still coming up. Women? I quit! Oh, and the stupid thing is, when I was younger, I remember being confused because even as she was dating him, we were still really good friends. Wow, what a weird concept, young Moss. People can date and have friends at the same time? Golly! But I got over it. And after the shock had worn off, I totally respected her. How she wanted to maintain her closeness with both her friend and boyfriend, which is something that I could totally get behind. She even said that I was like her brother. Isn't, isn't that great? Isn't that just fantastic? <laughs> but honestly, our friendship still remained even after Bilbo and Cherry broke up. To the point where she was just like, Hey Moz, you wanna come over to my place? I wanna watch a movie. Yeah, sure. Who else is coming? Oh, no, it's just you. Nanny, Kurebanandeska. Just you and me watching a movie. Oh my gosh, is is this what they call Netflix and chill? Wait, no, Netflix didn't exist yet. Frick! Think, Moz, think! Wait, is this a confession? Was she into me this entire time? Was she dating the other boys to make me jealous? I can't believe it. it's finally my turn to- That ain't it, Chief. That ain't it at all. Well, unfortunately, this script is getting way too long, so I'm sorry, but I'll have to break this up into two parts. Get keen, though, because this goes on for another year, we have a huge fight, and I recently caught up to her over the phone after five years. All of this and more in part two, so make sure to subscribe. Alright, guys, I'll see you soon. <clears throat> oh. Don't worry, guys, I'm not dead! <laughs> Before you go, I just want to remind everybody that I've got some hot spilled tea merchandise available on my store for those who like a little bit of spice in their life. If you're interested, then please make sure to check out the link in the description below. Next up, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and hit the notification bell for a chance to get shout out in the community tab. Yep, I've moved it over there, so make sure to check it to see if you've been chosen as a super Martian. And everything that happened in this story was about the me in the past when I was like 13, alright? I am not like this anymore. Trust me. Lastly, major thanks to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting me, especially to Rudy Falcon and Uncle Ron. You guys are the spiciest Martians. Alright, laters everybody, and stay a mug. <laughs>